hey y'all welcome back to my channel in today's video we are doing i guess this is sort of like a wash day reset i am using all products that i know work really well on my hair and products that i pretty much use all the time I needed to do this reset because I had just taken some braids down and my scalp was really itchy and I was just trying to get my hair back to a better place before I put my next relaxer in it. This video was filmed a, probably a little over three weeks ago and I am right at I believe 16 or 17 weeks post relaxer as I'm filming this video so I started off with putting the oils in my hair to do a hot oil treatment since I was having some very itchy scalp I decided to go in with the tea tree oil and the castor oil on my scalp and then I went through with the coconut oil to go through on my hair strands. I usually let that uh, hot oil treatment sit for like 20, 30 minutes. And then I go in with my shampoo. I am using the ORS Creamy Aloe Shampoo. This shampoo is my holy grail favorite shampoo of all time because for me, I really do have to use something that gets everything off of my hair and my scalp or I will have irritation issues. I know a lot of people like to use moisture shampoos or just shampoos that don't really advertise being clarifying or um, really getting your hair really, really clean. But I really need that for my hair or I will have um, scalp issues, dryness build up on my scalp and my hair will not come out right when I go to style it on my wash day so even though i do try other shampoos i always come back to this one because it just does what it needs to do it just it does what it needs to do it makes my hair feel really good without it being completely stripped and i just really like it and it's also even though i'm saying it gets my hair very clean i will also say that it is very gentle as well and doesn't leave my hair feeling hard crunchy stiff none of that so yeah and when i'm using this shampoo i usually use it um twice so i'll wash our shampoo once rinse it out shampoo again rinse that out and um yeah that is what i typically do let me know what you guys holy grail favorite shampoo is that you cannot live without i know that we all have those products that we try but most of the time, we have those products that are just our favorite products that we will never get rid of, that we will always, always, always go back to. And this shampoo, for me, is one of those things. And I'm really concentrating it on my scalp, making sure I give myself a good scrub. I don't have any issues when I scrub my hair, my scalp with my nails, but I do have like very like square nails. So maybe that's why, but it just exfoliates my scalp and makes it feel really good. So that's why I do it. And now I'm about to do my deep conditioning treatment. I am using the Silk Elements Jojoba. I'll put the full name down below. I can't remember the full name, but I'm using the Silk Elements Jojoba Deep Conditioner. And I have parted my hair into four equal sections. And I'm just going to make sure that this is evenly distributed over my entire head. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm using products that I know work really well on my hair because when, sometimes when I try new things, I do get reactions as far as it making my scalp itchier or drier or just making my hair not come out exactly how I want it to come out. So that's why this time being that I'm about to do my relaxer in the week after this wash day, I wanted to use products that will reset my hair back to normal and products that I know will not give me any sort of reactions on my hair and scalp. And this conditioner is one of those products. This is not my favorite 
Silk Elements Deep Conditioner, my favorite one is the Luxury Moisturizing Treatment. That one is my favorite one, but um, I hadn't used this jojoba one in a while and I knew that it worked really well on my hair. So I just wanted to try it. And this isn't a good deep conditioner if you have issues with your hair overall. So if you want like a combination deep conditioner that tackles protein, moisture and just will get your hair all together without you having to use multiple different products then i would say this is the product for you if you want to focus on specifically moisture i would use the silk elements luxury moisturizing treatment uh, <laughs> the silk elements luxury moisturizing treatment your hair will feel silky moisturized it'll just feel so good and if you want to focus on protein, I would use the cholesterol one. I don't remember the name, but it's the Silk Elements one. Those are my Holy Grail deep conditioners that just work well for me every time. I don't have to use them with any other products and they don't cause any sort of reactions on my hair and scalp. So y'all give those a try if you're looking for some new products because those are my absolute faves. And I was doing this wash day at night, so I'm not gonna say it was rushed, but I was definitely kind of ready to be done with it. Um, and so, you know, I'm not rushing, but I'm just trying to get through it. You know, it was about, what time was it? It was like nine o'clock at night. I go to bed super early. So normally by nine, I'm already in the bed. So yeah, I was tired. And right now I'm just making sure my hair is really detangled. I brought this detangling brush from Walmart. It is by Kiss and it worked really well on my hair. So if you have really thick hair or you're just looking for a gentle detangler other than a wide tooth comb, give this one a try. It was like $5. It was by Kiss and I found it at Walmart. I'm sure they sell it in the beauty supply store as well. So now I'm going in with the same um, line, that jojoba line, but this is the leave-in. And I'm just applying that. This is my last step before I go in to style my hair. I'm applying that all over and I'm just detangling with my wide tooth comb, showing you guys how my hair looks so moisturized. And this is the final step, not the final step, the final outcome of my hair. Like I said, it was nighttime. I was going to bed. I am like 16, 17 weeks post relaxer. So I really don't focus on my edges and getting them super straight at this point because it's just going to revert anyway. But I do put a nice curl in my hair so that it lasts throughout the week and has plenty of body and bounce. And just like I said, looks good throughout the week. If I just straighten it flat, it will, I don't know, it just looks funny. Um, by the end of the week, if I just straighten it flat and don't put any curl to it at all, especially as far along as I am without a relaxer. So, um, and I am going to wrap my hair up after um, this video, which will also help to kind of lay my edges as well. But I really was not too focused on that. I was really pleased with the results. My hair felt really soft. My scalp felt nice and conditioned and not as dry as flaky. And yeah, these are my results. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you tried any of these products and I'll see y'all in the next video.